Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building Clearwater County, and you might be wondering what we're looking at, and that's for good reason. This is a really weird chunk of land to spend any amount of time looking at. This is where our new airport's going to be located. And I'm really excited to build it here, and you might be wondering why we're building it way over here and not down there. And there is a good reason for it, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. But first, I want to thank today's video sponsor, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. Uh, I'm finally getting out of the frigid cold of Clearwater County and heading to a tropical vacation in Verde Beach. But wait, there's no airport here. How did I get up here? This is, this is madness. Okay, okay, I just need to surf the internet to pass the time. And that's where today's video sponsor, NordVPN, comes in. NordVPN provides you with a fast and secure internet connection wherever you are, with over 5,000 servers in 60 countries across the globe. And you can use NordVPN on almost any device out there, whether you're using Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, or iOS. But it's not just about security. Using NordVPN, you'll be able to access region lock content from around the world. This is super helpful for me when I want to watch my favorite shows in Europe and the UK. I'm still not sure how I got up here, but at least I was able to pass the time by having a safe, secure, fast, and fun internet browsing experience. And you can too. Go to nordvpn.com slash cityplanner or use code cityplanner at checkout for a highly discounted two-year plan with one month free. Once again, that's nordvpn.com slash cityplanner. Okay, so I spent a great deal of time looking at a variety of rural airports to figure out exactly what is needed in this build. And what I came up with is that generally the runways at these airports are about a mile to a mile and a quarter or longer. So what does that look like in the rest of our build? That's about 190 tiles to 260-ish. So let's pop in here. We'll use a planning road and see what this looks like if we were to build this anywhere in the build. <laughs> so here we are just north of the highway. This is a great location for it. 190 is a pretty good chunk of it. And if we go even, even further and we get our 260, that's the length. The problem is we need two runways and they need to go in different directions. And we are either taking all of this land here and dedicating it to airport or we're finding a place where it fits. So that leads me to look at the terrain heights. And it's flat here, and that's why this is an ideal location for it. But we do have the rail coming right through here. That's not so ideal. Over here, we have to relocate the river. That's not going to work. And then we could come over here. But now we're taking one of the best flat spots in our city, and we're adding an airport. So again, less than ideal. Right here, not good. Again, we can take we can take a look here. Good in one direction. Good in the other. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would work, but that's not exactly the greatest location for our airport. You'd see it coming into town. So that leads me to over here, which is a pretty remote location that happens to have this road right here. This is not a great spot. I mean, this is not a great road. This is an old country road used as a back way to reach Belmont from Ashland, but I think it'll do the trick. We could straighten this road out, make it a better facility. And though it's not ideal, it is an okay spot for the airport because this is all a plateau up here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look for the ideal location for our airport and create our runways using planning roads. So I want this. Th there are very few things in this build to scale, but this is one thing. I'm really excited to give it a shot. So we're going to go 190. So this is our one mile stretch. And then I want another stretch to come right through here. We'll turn anarchy on and we'll go our full 260 here. So that is huge. And we are going to need to do some terraforming to make this work. It's going to be great. I'm really excited about this. So let's go ahead. The very first thing that we're going to do is paint our airport district so that we get our terraforming done. Now that is unfortunate. That is not ideal. 
because now you're coming up a hill. We might need to give that some thought and move this whole thing out. That is unfortunate. I thought that we were in the right spot. We'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll see if we can move this just a bit. You know what? We might work with that. It's a little unfortunate. <laughs> I think that we might be able to make this work. It's a couple meters elevation. We're going to need to take more of this back. We'll sell some soil. Okay, so the inspiration for this build is any number of rural airports in northern Wisconsin. I looked at a number of them to come up with the best way to design this. And there's a lot of things that we're going to need to consider. This is not a level two airport. This is not a level three airport. This is a level one airport. That's where it stays. Very basic services, private jets, uh, regional service. This is the airport that would, uh, if, if you're in Wisconsin, it would take you from a place like maybe Mosinee or, uh, you know, Green Bay into Milwaukee or Chicago. It's not the type of airport that uh, is going to get you on an international flight. So something to keep in mind with this particular airport. So these are our runways. So that means that we need to have a place for our airport terminal. Pop into our transportation menu. And I think that there's no terminal that we could use besides the classic. It's the least expensive, it's the least attractive, and it is the most old school looking of all of them. So that's what we're gonna roll with. And we're gonna place that fairly far away over here. And because we have our planning roads, I can really get precise with this. I want it to be straight with this particular terminal, or this particular um, runway over here. There we go. Now, having that will unlock some of our airport amenities, our control tower, our budget airport hotel, parked plane, you know, and a few other things. We're gonna use very little of these. <laughs> Truthfully, just, it, it doesn't fit the character of this build. And that's what's, that's one of the things that is absolutely beautiful about this DLC is that it is very flexible. You can create whatever kind of airport you wanna create, even if it's one that, uh, you know, maybe isn't very large. So I got this backwards. <laughs> so we're gonna need to do a little bit of work rotating this around. So there we go. Let's get started on putting our runway down because that's really the most important part. So I am not just winging this. I am looking at a couple of airports to see the way that they're designed. And one of the things that I absolutely adore about playing modded with this DLC is that it gives you the opportunity to create some runways that uh, overlap. That's something that you can't do in the base game. And I think it's, it's really unfortunate because it adds so much. So I'm creating control points of sort for myself. So there's my control points. I just need to start somewhere within here. It doesn't need to be exact. Truthfully, I think I went a little overboard here. Let's just go ahead. We'll get a line, come back to that node there. Do the exact same thing over here. Get our node, draw our line, get our node and draw our line. All right, now let's get rid of all of these planning roads. All right, so now we will go ahead and build our runways. We can grab that end unit spot here. Pull that straight over to here. There we go. There's our first runway. Our second one is going to go this way. There we go. Now look at that. It overlaps. And there's some weird wonkiness with the lines, but it's going to work. And I just love this. It looks so much more realistic. And this is a massive airport at this point, And this is tiny. <laughs> like, then that's the thing to understand about airports and the things I mean I, I I I know next to nothing about airports. I will be completely upfront with you and tell you that everything I'm learning is from researching airports that I'm familiar with. I would highly encourage you if you are building an airport and you don't really know a lot about them, look at airports that you are familiar with and uh, figure do some measuring. Go on Google Earth. I personally use Google Earth Pro. Uh, it is free. It used to be a paid thing. Uh, it is not anymore, and it, it's just such a lovely tool 
to be able to take inventory of the of the world around you. That said, the interesting thing about the airports that I'm looking at is that they're in communities that don't have street view. So, you know, that's that's the thing. The community I grew up in, for instance, too small to have street view. Way too small. So I've gone through and smoothed this out a bit. And you can see it's looking a lot better already. Now, we don't have trees here. I think we could go out even further uh, if we if we wanted to, to, to get rid of some of these trees. Uh, in the airports that I'm familiar with, th there are trees close to the airport and it's it's a pretty stark cut. So we're going to add trees back to this afterwards. First of all, let's get our taxiways in place. We're going to give ourselves plenty of space. It's one thing I've noticed is that you don't see these things button up right, right close to here. And that's something that I've seen in some of the airport builds. Uh, that people have put together is that they're very close. That is not right. There we go. Now, the one thing that is going to be a bit of a challenge is how do I get across this? Because we need to be able to find a way to come back. So we're going we're gonna to try some things. So the main thing I'm worried about is being able to get back. So we're gonna come through here, go back out about 20 units, come down. I almost want to extend this out a little ways and see if that might be a better solution. So I'm gonna grab these two nodes, I'm gonna hold Alt. Uh, that's not gonna be good enough. I have many more nodes I need to pull. So shift, 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 and now Alt, and we'll pull. And <laughs> we've got some angly things going on there, and it really broke my runway. So I am not thrilled with how that's working and turning out. Let's try this. Okay, that's pretty good. Now the real question here is going to be functionality. Is it going to function? <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to need to give that some thought. I'm going to pull this down and send this around the back end here. And hopefully that will help. So I can sever this connection and we're going to reuse this taxiway if, if, if it will allow it. And then this one right here will come over. This is how you get on here or you get on here. Problem is now this is not in the right spot. So we're going to try to modify that a bit. First of all, let's look, where do we need to get on? Right here. So hold Alt, pull this up. That's not going to work because I need more. And truthfully, this is starting to make me realize that maybe the easiest, the path of least resistance here is just to go ahead and redo this, this airport. Uh, Oh, that, that's terrible. <laughs> that, was, that was a mistake. So the reason I wanted to bring that back was so that I got my things lined up as they should be, and I lost that opportunity. So now we're going to need to rethink it. Think, think about how this works. So first of all, let's do a couple of measurements. So here's where I begin. And that back end is 12 units from there. So I know that if I want to do this here, and I want to back this out 20 units. And then I want this 12. That's 15. So I need to come up three units from here. And that's where I need to begin. So right here. <laughs> if that makes any sense, this should be 12. Oh, that's 10 units. So we'll back this out, 12 units, right there is where it needs to be. And then we want to get our straight line and we'll make that 10 back. So let's give this a go. Let's see if I can get this right. This is going to be a real miracle if I do. <laughs> okay, so let's see how we did. And I counted out 12 units at the top too to try to get that right. And it 
it worked. There we go. <laughs> so, a little bit of finessing there, but a little bit of a uh, little bit of guessing. This one's a little bit off, but that's okay. This one doesn't matter nearly as much. So there we go. Whew, it's a little bit stressful, but that's the airport's DLC. If you want it to be just so, you've really got to do some work. So the other thing I noticed is that you don't just have one way on and off. And the the thing that I the reason I think that's the case is you'd think that airports might or airplanes might want to get on at a shorter distance. And it still won't let me do it. That's unfortunate. Can I fake it? I can. Doesn't like it, but I can. Yeah, I. Hmm. I don't love that. I don't. I don't want it to totally break. So I'm gonna leave it. But know that there should be more. We're gonna probably need to plop some asphalt to make it look correct. So. The other thing that I've noticed is the location where um, some of the aircraft, you know, the if we if we come into here into, into decorations, things like the hangars go, and they would be back here or something of that nature. So kind of off to the side. So we're gonna get to that in is in just a second as well. So we'll come through here. I'm going to pull that back 50 units. And we're going to have some hangers off from here. And I'm nervous. I don't want this to level up. <laughs> but it seems like as I add these decorations, it's almost inevitable. And then we'll go with small parked planes. So I did download the uh, Beast Wigglehausen pack of unique planes and that might be something to take a look at as well let me see if we can find those might need to look for those in just a minute i do want to focus on getting this done and getting this done well so let's come back in here and we will add in some of these you know and truthfully i'm wondering if perhaps we need to back these out a bit and I'm going to add near this taxiway here some of the parked planes. And I'm going to figure out the taxiway directionality closer to the end. And what I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do, I want to back these out just a bit further. I'm going to delete one of these. And then I'm going to add in a taxiway behind here. So this is about 13 units, so we need to go 26. We'll come on down. And this one's gonna be moved as well. Uh, I just wanna have a little bit of space where the these airplanes can go, where it feels like a bit of a parking lot for the airplanes. So if you can't afford, let, let's say you're a private pilot, and if you can't afford a hangar, you at least can pay for a parking stall for your plane. And this is almost making me realize that this whole thing could really stand to move over just a little bit. Which is unfortunate. I really don't want to move at all. But you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So let's go through here. Let's expand this a little bit. And that's the thing. These airports are always bigger than I imagine that they'll be. Okay, so I'm going to move this over about... A 20 units. And now it's basically everything over here that I want to scoot over just a little bit. I, I just don't want these airplanes to be that close to the hangars. That would be a really tricky landing, I would imagine. <laughs> I'm not a pilot, but uh, you know, I, I don't even play one on the internet. I just, <laughs> just I'm just enjoying myself. So I'm going to use Move It now to save myself the money. We don't have a lot of money. The airport's going to be ridiculously expensive. And we're going to use the tools at our disposal to make this thing as perfect as we can. 
So here we're gonna do the same thing. We'll come through, grab our nodes, use Alt and just pull this down just a little bit. There we go. That's nice. And we'll get rid of this. And then again, use Move It. Hold down Shift and pull these right down. So I'm gonna extend this taxiway here and this is where we will have our hangers. Come out a little ways there. So I would imagine that the county is very interested in this kind of airport. So I know one of the things that was mentioned in the comments and in, in Discord is that it seems odd that a community of this size might have an airport. That, uh, I guess maybe from an international standpoint, that might be the case. In the US, there would be potentially crop dusters and things, uh, regional flights that would come in and even private jets, people that happen to own their own airplane that would, would come and, you know, be able to use this uh, for corporations. No, no, I, I live in a community that has a small regional airport, uh, one of the bigger regional airports in the state, but as a regional airport, the way that it's used basically is that uh, flights from corporations, because we do have a couple of major corporations in the in the in the area fortune 500 they you know, whenever they need people to come into town they will uh, fly into the regional airport here and again our district's just not big enough so anyway it is not abnormal for a community a smaller community to have an airport like this and the airport could grow with the community if the community continues to grow or it could remain a smaller airport if the community stays this size and i'll be honest i feel like i have so much freedom right now it is <laughs> i don't know a polite way of saying this but uh you know the amount of freedom you have in a modded build it's just it's just outstanding and i feel like i can get my vision to come to life so much easier than playing vanilla that said that's not to disparage vanilla play uh i like to focus on the game mechanics as well and you can tell i'm not at all thinking about game mechanics right now i'm thinking about aesthetics and how this would function uh as an as, a, as an airport which is nice, but potentially not, not what you'd go for, necessarily. So, with this, I'm going to send this taxiway. I'm thinking that we are going to try to reuse a portion of this. And that'll be the way that we go. So let's go ahead and make sure that all of our taxiway directionality makes sense. So this would be going in. This would be going the opposite way, so that's kind of interesting. This is in the correct direction right now. This is wrong. We can keep this going this way. And I, I like the idea of it looping back here around. Then you get the option of which direction you're going. And then we'll send this one in the opposite direction so you can get around here and have a circulation pattern. This one doesn't matter so much. And I know that we have a number of nodes here that don't need to be here, and we haven't even gotten to our stands yet. Now, so this, we'll extend this out just a little ways. Let's be a little bit more deliberate with that. So this right here, it's five units. We'll go five units on this side as well. Okay, so with that, we're going to add a couple of stands back here. And I'm just lining this up with the edge of the concrete. No right or wrong way to do this. This is just what I like to do. And then because we have move it, we can just scoot these over just a little bit so that they're completely even. Because we're going to want this one. I'm going to line the edge of the pavement up. I wonder if we can just come into here and line these objects up. 
Yeah, that's 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 much better. So now it's just perfect. So now let's go through here, and I want to have a circulation pattern. So we're going to send this through this way. And let's go into our unified UI and get rid of some of these nodes that shouldn't be here. So there's one. That one could go away. Any that just seem a little bit too close, I'm going to just get rid of because I think it's going to cause routing issues. And everything else looks pretty darn sharp. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out. So there we go. So interestingly, yeah, we've got we've got these set up. So I really want to make sure that this is oh the planes are spawning even without power. That's awesome. So we do need water up here, and I'm gonna need to to, to get this right away. So let's go ahead. We'll put the water pipes underneath our building, <laughs> which is where it belongs with this DLC. <laughs> so. And then I'm gonna send this. I'm not gonna perfectly follow the road here because this road is gonna change. Because of the regional significance of what we're doing, we are gonna need to, to spend some more money on this road. So that's gonna be part of the project. And now I will be blunt with you and say that I'm not 100% sure where we're gonna pull it up. So I'm just gonna take this straight across from now at the end of the build, I'm going to go through and clean up our pipes because I do not love the idea of this being pretty janky just for the sake of being janky. So we need to get power up here. And going down to Belmont is probably our easiest hike. So we're going to come down through here and let's see if we have any... Actually, we're going to want to connect up to a major transmission line which is right here, <laughs> that's not ideal. I think we're gonna come through up this way. And the reason for that is I think we can get away from a lot of this stuff happening back here. There would be significant protests to this happening because it, think about how disruptive this is gonna be to some of the views in the area. But you gotta have power. So we're gonna run it along this road. In fact, let's back it up. We'll run this through a future backyard rather than the road itself so we can still develop along there. I do not know why I cannot connect these, but I cannot. Looks like that's too low right there. So I'm pausing this for just a moment as I try to work this out. The height of realism right there. <laughs> now, now let's run this up. And we can basically cut anywhere we want. It's a power line. And then we'll send this this way. And we're going to need a transformer. We're going to get that. For the time being, I'm just going to make a connection. I want to make sure that all of this stuff is working. So now, this doesn't need heat. So we're going to just go ahead and run just a regular water pipe underneath here. There we go. And garbage is piling up because it's an airport. Let's see how this is functioning. It says we've got one aircraft from each. I'm just going to pop in here. We'll get rid of that unified UI. And I'm going to run this for just a moment. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to get a road here <laughs> because we're going to need a road. Now, I don't want this to seem super permanent just yet. So what we're going to do, let's come over here. I want to line this up nicely. So we've got plans for this. But for the time being, let's just get our planning road in place. So we need to find a way to get down here. <laughs> so let's turn our anarchy off and let's look at our terrain. And you can see that we've got some work to do. Uh, there's not many great ways to get up here. This is as close as it gets. And it might actually be coming way over here and then circling back around. So let's make a new road. So we'll come through here. And I'm going to turn collision off for the time being. We'll turn that back on when we create this road permanently. So we'll turn on our freeform tool and try to navigate around some of our challenging terrain. 
go up a bit and then we need to switch back around so i'd love to switch back at a flat location if we can so let's make one so we'll come through here and i'm going to flatten some terrain right here for our switchback and we'll look at the sky for a second before we get over here and I want to look at the terrain again. We need to smooth this out a bit and think about that road. So I'm going to come through here, go up five units. Actually, we'll go up four. Curve four. Come up four again. And then curve four. Now, I'm going to fix that. That's not ideal, what, what just happened here. So we'll come through, grab these and let's align them all to this one. There we go. So now I'm gonna run the road up the side again, and I'm gonna turn collision back on. There's really not a need to not have it anymore, unless we get back to that power line. So I want bending off. I'd really love to have straight slopes. So we'll do that. And I'm gonna look and we'll come up Oh, we'll go up 10 meters. And then we've got about another... 60 total that we need to make. So let's get as much as we can right here. We went underground for a minute there. That is not what we want. There we go. We're heading up the hill. So with that, we should be able to kind of meander back where we need to get. Let's just start that turn. And we'll head right in. And then from here, I'm gonna use my curved road tool, line that up and make our connection in. Now we're gonna need to use quite a bit of node controller action here to make this a little more palatable. So we'll hold down shift. We see that there are some Lumpies and bumpies in there that are pretty extreme. We'll take it down to six. Probably a little more reasonable. There we go. 5.8. So I think we can live with that. And let's make our connection here. And I really dislike how that turned out. I'm not sure why I'm not getting my guideline here. Looks like I'm just a little bit... Making it just a little bit unhappy because I do have road guidelines on. There we go. I could, I could approximate it. So there we go. And now I want this to be the dominant movement coming from Ashland. So we are gonna change the location of this road. And then we'll come in here and we can still have this connection here. This might be a reason to, to, to pave this road because this does provide direct access, even if it's scary access, all the way to Belmont. So here we go. We've got a road coming up. It stinks, and I think we all know that, but it should at least get us started. So with that, I want to turn, I want to bend this a little bit. I don't think it needs to be that sharp. So with that, I think our main question now is, are we going to get some airplanes coming in here? And I'm seeing zero, zero, zero. That is not a good sign. <laughs> so we need to look at our directionality to make sure it works. And it doesn't. It's broken right here. And that is why we are seeing issues. So that should fix it. We could come all the way down. I'm going to reverse this. So you could cut through all the way back and now you should be able to get there so hopefully not enough heat <laughs> that's making me a little nervous let's see what's going on with our heat we'll come up here look at our city vitals i might need to configure this interesting that's not going to show us that it looks like heat's okay i'm not sure why it's mad so if we click on heat over here oh it's right on the edge our consumption's right at our demand we're going to need to do something about that so one thing that I like to do from time to time to see if things are working, 
Just click on one of these roads and see if anyone's using it. No one's using any of these. So it's clearly not working. And I'm wondering, what if we just make these the highways that I plan on making them? Hmm, I think it might have... Yeah, I want to use this one. So we're going to go through and redo those ones that we just placed. These are the American highways, and they just look really spectacular. And it's funny, it's moving these cars up the road as <laughs> if they really want to park here. Okay, and I'll make this just a normal street here, and we'll see if that resolves this. So we do have a garbage truck coming up and a grand caravan. <laughs> so here we go. Come in. Oh, uh, what are you doing? No, 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 you're leaving. Oh, thought we had you. <laughs> Guess not. So I still see no aircraft here. And I'm wondering what I could do to try to fix this. So I'm going to pop through and just redo our connections in here to see if it doesn't like something about those. Okay, this Lexus is actually going to the airport now. So that makes me have a little bit more hope. They picked up some trash. I'm still not sure what the, the Lexus person's doing up here, but... They're at least up here. Oh no. Oh no. Now they're leaving. He's the manager of the airport terminal. He just came up here to go to work. Oh, that's not good. So one new idea. I'm going to get rid of the terminal and see if that potentially broke this. So I will pop this in here again. And then I'll send this five units in either direction. Oh, and I used the wrong terminal. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Brand new terminal. We'll see if that does the trick. The other thing I can think is maybe I disrupted things when I lined these up with move it and it doesn't like what's going on. Hard to say at this point. Or it could be when I remove those nodes. Why don't we go through and check those? Okay, at a minimum, this one should be functioning appropriately now. With the exception of the heat. Let's get that taken care of. And honestly, it looks as though we maxed out last time, which is really unfortunate. That was not... <laughs> that is not ideal. So I'm going to try something. Let's pop through here. We'll select this. Add a road there. Get rid of this road and see if that will do the trick. It's very close. Yeah, it's a little bit disruptive to the river, but I'm going to allow it. It, 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 uh, not too bad. Drop that down and it'll hide some of that wonkiness. I like that. I like that a lot. So now. Okay, and I've been trying a number of things to get this working, but I think I might have figured out what the problem is. I don't really see any airplane paths on this map. So what I'm going to do is just draw a path. We'll see if that fixes it. Now, I practiced on this map, and I swear that I saw them. So I'm confused. <laughs> and you can't see him. Interesting. And it's interesting, you can see this path even. I think that's what that is. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, and apparently I just had to be patient. We got our first plane. It is full. 50 passengers. Let's let's go on a ride. I think that we need to see the very first plane out of Clearwater County and figure out what it's like to be on a plane here.
Okay, so now that we've seen an airport land, er, <laughs> an airplane land at the airport, we know that this thing is functional. So I think it's important that we really make sure that everything is working as we, as we want it to up near the airport. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna upgrade some of these roads up here, and we absolutely need to have a parking lot up here. That's non-negotiable. I'm, I really wish that this was something that was added to the game. Um, it wasn't. That's okay. But I, I, it's something that I would certainly love to see. Um, I don't think it's coming at this point, truthfully. That's okay. But I do hope that for whatever the next iteration of the game is, I would love to see parking included in there. Because it's, it's, it's such... It really drives a lot of decisions. Uh, you know, for better or for worse. So we're going over eight units over there. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. And now... What I'm going to do is go into our parking lot pack. We're going to go through. I have big. I really don't want to use big <laughs> parking lots. So uh, it's just a, a personal thing. I just prefer not using it. And truthfully, if I were starting this build from the very beginning, I probably wouldn't use big parking lots. It's just uh, it's a great mod. But for me, it's really hard to beat this. It's just, it's so good. So, you know, it's fine. This is what we're going to do. So because this is a small regional airport, we are not going to spend a lot of time on having, you know, a, a parking garage that to me is, is a bit of a waste. That wouldn't get a lot of use at an airport like this. So, um, we're just, we're going to skip it. Now, I would imagine that there would be some sort of employee parking lot as well. So I am going to add a back way around here. And it's funny, I know this is flat, or I'm, I'm pretty certain it is, but it just feels not flat. <laughs> it's just, I think it's an optical illusion there, but uh, yeah, it looks, it looks off to me. So I'm going to do a couple of things to try to make it a little bit better. Maybe move this power line over. I don't know that that fixes everything, but it's a little bit better. And then I do want to have a power facility back here. So we're going to turn our guidelines on. We're going to add a road. This will be a really basic road. We're just going to have a rural road. No markings. Come through here. And let's pop on back. There we go. And we'll have our power substation. We'll throw that back here. Now I had anarchy on that was a mistake. Let's turn, let's demolish that and add that back in here. I want the power lines to break. We're gonna fix them. We'll come through here and use some of our rural power lines. Now I would truthfully imagine that these are buried, but in light of not having buried lines available right now, this is what we'll do. And let's get our parking lot lines in here. We've, we've got to start out with our accessible parking. That's it's so big here. So that's where we're going to start out. Actually, it'll be difficult to line them up. So let's start with this. And then right up here, tons of accessible parking. Now the snow this is the one place where I'd say big parking lots has an advantage. I can't see exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going to probably need to fix this in the future. But the snow might be melting soon. So no reason to let that completely guide all of our decision making. And it's funny, I zoom out and the the load changes and then I can see 
<laughs> it looks it looks okay. There is a, a one spot that's a little little off. So then I'm gonna pull around here and we'll just have an employee parking lot as well. And this will be a very modest parking lot. Nothing nearly as big as what we had the other side. There we go. And truthfully, we could probably pull this all closer, but it'll be fine. Now, one of the things that we got in the with the, the, the content career with the update to City Skylines was some new trees. And I'm really I've seen them in the summer, but I have never seen them in the winter. So I want to check them out. So what I thought would look really great here is some generic pines. Let's take this down. It'll be a single. There we go. They're, they're okay. The grasses look better. Young Linden, that looks pretty nice. And let's see the palm trees. <laughs> I like that. The cottonwood, yeah, that's that's inappropriate for this location, but very nice. And then over here, these are some of the boreal pines, so uh, clearly those are going to look great. So, very, very nice. We have some of these flowers, and I think I'm just going to put a row of them right in the front. We'll pop in here. We'll turn our spacing down. I want this to feel like a hedge row. Maybe not that much, though. There we go. Difficult to do landscaping in the winter, and that's why it's not done in the winter. And that and everything would die. So <laughs> we'll just we'll just call it a day with that. And then the last thing that we really need to focus on is getting this kind of encased. We want to make sure that and that's something we can't do. We got to get to level two, which is unfortunate. So no fencing. So I am shrinking this up now. I want to conform a bit more because we're going to add some of the trees back. And the way that we're going to do that is the way that I always like to do it. And that's just find some trees that you like, highlight them, and we'll just copy them. So you can see where I've added these, which makes it a bit unnatural. So we're going to need to add more throughout until we kind of taper off and thin. We're also going to need to change our landscaping just a bit. But I love the, the way that it has a crisp line. That is exactly the look I'm going for. So I'm going to find another area, a bigger area with some thick landscaping and we'll copy that. And I'll go right behind. And now the last thing I want to do is thin this out just a bit. So we're going to come through here and what we're going to do is let's pop into our landscaping. We'll make a very large fuzzy brush. And we'll take our strength way, way down. And I just want to thin this out around the edges. There we go. That is much more natural looking. It's harder to see where I've copied and pasted. And now we can do the exact same thing to the edge of the map. We'll make this a bit stronger. Turn this down, still a fuzzy brush, and just a couple taps. There we go, there we go. So there's one other thing that I think this airport really needs, and that is a place to rent a car. So we're gonna add that off to the side by the employee parking. Oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> ah, I did not get hurt, so that's right, I got Enterprise. So just a really small Enterprise car rental outfit over here. Nothing all that wild, just want to be able to see that there's a car rental place over here so you don't have to necessarily go over. And even with that, maybe we should come over here and have car rentals as a policy so that people know that they can go and rent a car. So that's a commercial building. We got some worker issues. <laughs> Hopefully that sorts itself out. Garbage is a forever problem here and I think that that might caused me to look at this path over here. Because I think a lot of our trash collection is coming from over here. And maybe we'll even add another one up here. We have this area that's a bit back in the forest. And I think we could sneak that sort of use back here as well. There's a dip in the road here and that would be, that'd be a, a total nightmare for drainage. So we will fix that. And then let's get our water pipes back here. Hopefully they don't need heat. 
And I think that truthfully, after dealing with some of these issues, I'm starting to think that heat was the problem back here. And maybe our inconsistent heat production is what caused all of our problems. I'm really, I'm really hoping that wasn't the case <laughs> because uh, it feels bad. So we'll, we'll see. Now you look, there's some traffic coming up here now and we could probably use some sort of transportation option. Truthfully, in a city of this size, I don't know that we get much. And I'm gonna straighten that out because we also should probably get rid of that bend in the road. I would imagine that th this would be cleaned up. Maybe, maybe we'll leave it. This is a historic nod. Let's see how car... <laughs> no, we are not gonna leave that as a historic nod. We just saw a car tip on its side to make this work. There we go. Little cleanup in that bend. And then we've got some other terraforming to work out. We could probably use some fences right here as well. So let's do that quickly. Basically on the side of here, it is, we've cut it up on both sides. It could be on one, but not the other. So we'll do that. And even this, why don't we just bring it out a little ways up here or maybe it would have been easier to do that there we go and now I want some sort of guardrail and we're gonna go with these and we're gonna put these up the side and I think in this location we are okay spending money we've been spending money so let's just keep doing it we'll have our angle on get this going We'll send this straight up here. Now we've got a couple cars. They're all parked in the accessible parking. We need police up here. <laughs> it's really a slow go here. We're not getting to level too quickly. We've got 314 passengers. We've got a few airplanes. I haven't seen any use this other runway. And I'm a little concerned about... Oh, no, 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 no. We have had some. So we're good. We're good. It's just very slow which is fine. It's a sleepy community. So I do want to do more at this airport. But I think that right now I'm just pleased with the way that this has turned out. I think we're going to come back to this in the next one. We do need to do one quick thing though, because another thing that this DLC gave us was the ability to select vehicles. So right here, guess what we can do? We can actually pick some of our Clearwater County vehicles. So here we go. We got the Clearwater County, Tahoe, and the Taurus. So let's get that picked. Now this will spawn Sheriff's Department vehicles. So I'm very excited about that. And so when I knew that these vehicles were added, that was something that killed me because I knew that we would have the ability to set vehicles by, by, by department. So eventually i would really love to have different police vehicles for every uh every community and fire as well uh, that said i'm either going to need to learn how to get really good or i'm going to have to rely on the generosity and kindness of others so <laughs> we'll see if we get there but with that look look at this we've got all of our accessible parking used ah it's really frustrating but we do have this lovely airport and i think it is time for an airport tour
and obviously Enterprise Rent-A-Car is a popular place. We've got this uh, lovely person coming in there. They get a nice view of the airport from back here. And look at this. This feels, in my opinion, very, very real realistic. It's very small. We're going to get some fences up. Once we get to level two, you know, that was maybe a, a mistake on my behalf. We do need to have some sort of level. And I, I want something from you. I want to know what we should call this airport. Now, I have ideas. And if I don't get a great one in the comments, we'll see. <laughs> but I want a name from you. So this is a county airport. If you look, we're close to Ashland. But we're also close to Belmont. It's really not that far from Shorewood. So let me know what ideas you have. And let's do a little bit of cleaning up. We've got some trees right back here. I don't think we'd see them back there. Let's just make sure we have no other crazy stullaways popping up. No, we're looking good. We are looking very good. This airport, I'm very proud of this. It's very basic. Oh, got one more thing to do, though. And that is right here. Oh, that is so satisfying. <laughs> this is the one thing that you can't do in vanilla that I just desperately wish that I could. Let's clean up the edges around here. And then at the very end, we'll do this. Oh, that feels so good. That, that feels so good. And we should also, I, I mentioned that I wanted to have a couple of other entrance, entrance points into here. Let's get those as well. There we go. It'd be nice if we could have this look exactly like this. Um, we, and we, we certainly could. We could just add some. But I, I, I don't... Those those signs, the blinking, are going to drive me crazy. So I'll just, I'll just leave it. And uh, be satisfied with this little access road where you could cut across if you absolutely need to. So with that... I am going to leave it here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I uh, want to give one more huge shout out to today's video sponsor, NordVPN. If you are interested, please check out the link in the description. Go check them out for a huge discount. And uh, you, if you use my code CityPlanner. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.